happens with that hammer form too. So this is a G2 that is putting faith in Wonder. They saw him on the NAR in the last game. They want him to step up in game two. And with the Akali lock-in, by the way, not only is that Bit of sustain in a sustained lane for Evalu, but self made. We'll run into Yankos. Wonder's gonna flash away already. Use that Mercurial Hammer and no flash, smack remember. Whippo away. Yankos stepping forward. Whippo's got flash available. Self made seems to be uh, safe for now. Yankos will be able to chuck out the spell. Oh no. Enough damage now. He's in trouble. Gets tagged down by those blooming blows. An acceleration gate will buy some time. That's the taunt flash into Whippo. He manages to pick up first blood. For Fnatic! Going Fnatic. towards the scaling junglers on the top side of the map, this could be a problem for them. And I thought that at first this was going to be a great play for uh, for G2, because notice that Wano is actually hovering towards the river because he knows that Yankus is on his way. And if Yankus could have gone on top of Selfmade, that would have been a kill, but of course he doesn't have his flash, so they decide to commit to Whippo, and then you realize, wait, ah. there's an entire minion wave also hitting onto both G2 members. Selfmade on Lilia, it's very good at kind of keeping distance, poking you down, and then Whippo's like, okay, I have the flash torn. I also have the passive, the Spirit's Refuge, to mitigate all the damage. And then there's nothing to They know that G2 does have the Rift Herald, and this will make it easier to be able to trade it. And that's exactly what you want to see. Here we go, Vicky going in. That's the Flash Engage Solar Flare as well. Remember, Heliceng does not have Flash available. Teleport coming out here from G2 as well. The Dredge Line going to get Healy to safety. Stand United was channeled by Bwipo. He's still got that TP, Acceleration Gate, and the Shock Blast going out. And Yankos for Wonder as well. In the mid lane, Caps is currently going even with Nemesis. Uh, Hilly. Inverse, he had about a 10 CS advantage at this point, and Hillisang's roam will push him onto Wonder. The dredge line then caught a minion. Observers, so we can have a look at the difference. Once again, we see Reckless with a 600 to 700 gold advantage. But now look for a play in mid. They are indeed. Selfmade's got the lullaby down. Nemesis jumping onto Wonder, and he's going oh. to go down, but he gets the damage! How did the Thundering Blow get the kill? Ends up being a trade of one for one. While that's going on, Dredge Line at the bottom lane. Deadly Flourish comes up. Perks was rooted in place. He's still got that flash available. And that means that they're not going to chase further. Instead, one loss or two. Oh, here tower. comes the rest of G2. Solar Flare from Mickey's available to him. He's going to lock down Hilly under the tower. There goes the flash. Here comes Yankos. Actually stopped to summon the Herald as well. Caps has got the Shockwave if needed, but the Showstopper comes down. And G2 are back in it. They get themselves a kill, and they're going to push onto the tower. Yeah, G2 are able to punish in that moment. It starts out with Wonder with the absolute hero play on a sliver of HP. Turns around the kill, but now Fnatic, they're not slowing down. No, they're not. One, two, punch back. There's the Taunt Flash. Perks is able to escape as he held onto his Flash. The Zenith Blade connects on the Whippo. He's going to get taken down. The Railgun comes up from Perks. Now Nemesis is the next target. He's forced to Flash defensively. He's being run down by four members of G2. Selfmade arrives just in time to watch his team may go down. What looked like a great collapse from Fnatic ended up in disaster as G2 now sit Played with in mid lane and bot lane at the same time. And because G2 went really? in, oh, turned it around. It's indeed, there's, there's a no smite. attempt available to him. It's not going to be able to die. G2 pick up the second dragon and now Fnatic looking for an opportunity. But that just got two quick kills. <laughs> Unbelievable. The chase now comes through from Fnatic. They're looking to get a little bit more. At least not done. No, of course. This man doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't let people recall. No, he does not. It himself. And there's the fight now. Dredgeline and Zenith. Even Blade, if he dies for it. And the will go down. So at the end of it all, four, five kills for G2, two to Fnatic, but they get the dragon as well. Oh, looking to force these plays and punish some of the overaggression that we're getting from Hillisang. But the action actually started off in mid lane with one that finding himself a little overextended. The Fnatic engage comes through, but look at one day here. The damage just left a little bit from Nemesis, allowing him to get the turnaround. I actually think Nemesis, he just never auto-attacked there. He could have taken down Wonder much, much sooner in that play, and then Hillisang didn't have his ultimate. It was about 25 seconds away from coming off of cooldown, so now he's stuck between two towers. And coming off the back of the play in the mid lane, G2 pieced out. They're dropping waves to find the collapse. And notice the Shen doesn't have the ultimate. Uh, the Lilia is dead, which means that it's very easy for G2 to just hard commit to this play. And they wanted to use the Rift Herald anyway. What a better time than now! Now, seeing as they have all their team here and they can give more gold on to Perks. Of course, after this, more action happens as another skirmish kicks off. Well, Mickey goes in with the Zenith Blade, uh, slows down Selfmade while the Rift Herald is being picked up, and now Mickey's in a little bit of trouble. 
Solar Flare is available to him. He's going to flash you over the wall, get the stun onto Nemesis with the Shield of Daybreak and start to back away. I said playing as a team is going to be a very good look for them, shutting down a lot of the value of an Akali Shen combination. Oh, that's a big ult. Lane. That could be. Is indeed. Lullaby can come forward. Okay. Nemesis Southman is held oh. the trigger. The Shockwave catches too. Hillisang uses the Dredge Line to escape to safety, but there's the dash forward. Quipo gets caught and pulled backwards by Yankos. The Slam Dunk Showstopper sends Quipo back to the fountain, but the curtain is called by Red and it will slow down the siege. Here comes Wando, he's got the shock blast under the tower, and the center plate finds a target. That is so much damage on the self made. Yankos takes him out, and they're not done yet. Yankos and Wando pushing forward. Two quick towers and two quick kills for G2. And and teleport, just... unless he walks down, we're gonna have that numbers advantage, and look at how they commit to this. They know that they can take the tower with the Rift Herald, and let's keep track of Caps' ball here. Sitting underneath the Rift Herald, oh. they notice it too late. The two man ult comes through, and that's the go sign for G2. It's just such a good punish there for G2, and the amount of engage tools they have, they can keep forcing the fight the way of Fnatic. At some point, Fnatic have to say pull out because they're not calling Nemesis into the play. This time around, he hasn't completed his second item yet, but he's sitting at 0, zero, zero. He's lying in wait. He's ready to activate. Oh, Nemesis. And now Mickey may have found Nemesis, or his Nemesis found Mickey. Yeah, there's not enough support from the rest of G2. Nemesis is going to die. Oh, that's not good. That's a double root. The Shockwave catches onto Nemesis. Here comes the Stand United from Quipo. It's buying a lot of time. Solar Flare will slow things down for Fnatic, but Mickey is the first one that's in trouble. Showstopper pulls Quipo out of the fight, and Perks takes down Hilly. Nemesis is dashing and running for his life as Whippo is pulled backwards. He dashes through and he will go down. And At first I was saying he was waiting to ramp up, but we haven't seen him show up yet. Notice in this fight, he's just looking to reset. Meanwhile, Hillisang and Selfmade, they're getting control over the river. He's forced to cancel the, the recall and like, He's As hitting a ward. said, every, everything for Fnatic right now is just too split up. Yeah, Nemesis hit a ward four times. That's a control ward. He has to know G2 is on the way down here. Reckless has no way of entering into the fight. So G2 literally deathballing five members to finish off. Look at how tanky Mickey is as well, soaking up so much of the damage. The W combined with the aftershot combo just means that he can soak up a lot and just bait Fnatic into sticking on him while the rest of G2 clean up. And Fnatic pick will. another one of these 5v5s around, either a soul or maybe even a Baron. You can see Yankos. He's going to start stepping forward, Showstopper. I've seen this before. Grabs Hilly and he's going to get blown up, sniped down from the mid lane. He's going to then move around the map and look to punish. Fnatic now looking to try and punish Wonder. Well, flash for flash, by the way. Whippo and Wonder just trading. Wonder is in some trouble, but perfect execution. Yeah. Whippo is now moving towards the bottom lane as G2 are grouped up. That death ball is rolling forward and threatening and engage. Mickey yeah. sees Hilly but holds off. I mean, G2 get full control because there's two towers down in mid lane, so they fully push the wave in and now cut through the jungle. Hillisang is caught out once again. He absolutely is. Pulled backwards. Nothing else is used. That's a flash over the wall. Now the curtain is called back as Reckless is firing up the shots onto G2 inside the jungle. Swelsi will fly forward and the lullaby is held onto for now. Nemesis now may be the next target. Shockwave is up for caps. He's got a lot Whoa. of damage. Nemesis goes all the way forward. The Shockwave catches him. He's down. What was that? Now the turnaround as the Curse of the Black Fist gets another kill. Yankos gets the third of the fight. Best of five. It's likely that Chichu is going to take this game. Oh, it he looks found like him. Wanda is going to take Reckless's life. Welcome to the game, Reckless. 0 1 0 at 26 minutes. Whippo now Wait, joins the fray. Shadow Dash is available. Wonder wins he this. Was used it a second ago. Look at the hyper. Wonder continues to chase. Shock Blast didn't find the target. Caps TP'd under the inhibitor to help Wonder out. The G2 solo laners who have been so dominant for so long. And Wonder is on a killing spree, the fifth of the game. And Wonder's going to be able to escape with his life as well. So let's have a look back at this fight and see exactly how things played out. So Nemesis gets spotted on a control ward. G2 has information of where Fnatic is and they recognize that Hillisang is out of position. They try to chunk him out, but they don't overcommit because they know the Shen ult is also a thing. So instead, they take the blue buff, they look to move back towards the Drake. Knowing that Hillisang is out of the fight, they know they have a numbers advantage. This is where they commit to Nemesis and Nemesis thinks, okay, I'm going to buy time, get the Shen ultimate. The Shen ult, he comes through, but it doesn't matter. It just gets popped immediately due to a fantastic shockwave from Caps. The follow up CC from Mickey onto self made as well, and then that's just the fight done and dusted. G2 has to find a better way to enter there because G2 shut him down hard. And Nemesis last weekend, two games of Lucian, one game of Cogball. Um, he's four wins, four losses on Akali all time, and it looks like Wonder 
may be able to just take him out, and he Ooh. does. That was close, though. I think that was close. Okay, for context, Akali had two items, and Jace had four. Yep. <laughs> that was a lot of damage from Nemesis, but with his death going down, and now G2 inside the base with the Dragon Soul, with the Baron buff, this will be the push to even out the series. Whippo's trying to Ooh. slow Perks and Mickey down on the top lane as Reckless is down, and one, two, three more Fnatic members fall. That's the ace inside of Fnatic's base. G2 in 29 minutes will be evening up the series. And that's the Caps carry performance we have come to expect this season. G2 working alongside him to get him an advantage, and G2 won through Fnatic to tie up the series. Unkilled. Caps, Perks, and Mickey. What a dominant, dominant showing from the three representatives. The scoreline is now tied up at one to one, and Fnatic will get side selection for the next game. And I think one of the biggest things that Ender highlighted was that the cohesion wasn't there like it was in game yes. one. I think that when we look a little bit more at the draft, one of Fnatic's game plans had to have been to play through bot lane. When you have Jin Norlis and a Shen, your whole goal should just be attack, attack, try and snowball. But I felt like that Reckless wasn't visible. You know, I was hyping him up. I was like, there's gonna be.